In this example we need to calculate the area of this L shape. A good idea before you start is just to work out the two sides which are missing. So first of all let me work out this side length. So to get this side we just need to look at the vertical side lengths. So all the way up is 10, this one's 2. So if we do 10 take away 2, this will give us this side as 8 centimetres. Similarly for the one going across, to get this side all you need to do is look at the horizontal lines. So this is 9 all the way across and this one's 3. So if you do 9 take away 3, this will give you six centimetres. Next thing you need to do is split your L shape up into two rectangles. So we either can do this going across or going down. Both ways will give you the same answer. So let me go with going across. I'm just gonna shade in these two rectangles to make it clearer. So we have to work out the area of this green rectangle and the area of this re red rectangle. So let me do the green one first. So to work out the area of this green rectangle we have to multiply the two side lengths together. So you need to be careful which two sides you pick. So the base of the green rectangle is 9 and the height of the green rectangle is 2. So the area will be 9 times 2 which is 18 centimetres squared. Let's work out the area of the red rectangle. So again we need to be careful and we need to multiply its two side lengths together. So in this case the base of the red rectangle is 3 centimetres and the height of the red rectangle is 8 centimetres. So if we do 3 times 8 that is 24 centimetres squared. So finally we just need to work out the total area of this L shape so you need to add together these two calculations. So 24 add 18 will give us 42 centimetres squared. So that is the area of this L shape. 